There was a statement on Twitter or X. Someone said Tyler the Creator deserves a spot in the mm-hmm. rap's big three ahead of J. Cole. I wanted your guys' thoughts on that. Is Tyler there yet? Is Tyler in this the, the discussion with the albums that he's had or that he has out now? Um, does it work? Is the, is the work strong enough to be up there with Kendrick Drake and, and or ahead of Cole? Sure. Um, my personal opinion, I would say no. I uh, I think he deserves to be in this conversation where people can start to think about it and start to talk for about sure. it. For sure. Uh, I feel like with Cole kind of positioning himself to kind of, I feel like this is the, you know, like, all right, y'all, like, I'm going to do my farewell tour, like, pretty soon. Like, I'm not really fucking with this shit no more. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I'm trying to get out of this. Um, I feel like that makes for a perfect kind of segue for him um, because – there's not many that has the numbers, but also I think the I think the key is is the rap, right? Like this is a nigga that really spits, this is a nigga that writes his shit, this is a nigga that produces his shit. And like you said, he's on a run of albums that are winning Grammys. Yes. That are winning awards, that are number one debuts. Um this nigga like uh the uh the record sold three weeks in a row, number one. Like that's not for rap right now, like albums are not really doing that. So he has the numbers, he has girl records, he has rap records, um, he has introspection, he's smart, he's giving you a show. I feel like he has that kind of star power power that is building that he can be even entertained to be into this conversation. Uh but I think that if you ask the question, like I know, like I feel like Jay Cole is in the big three because that nigga is a superb rapper. I feel like lyrics. I, d- I feel like lyrics, rapping ability wise. That's why this big three is here. Right. I feel like that. What what J Cole in a in a in an NBA sense, he's the one that's up there because this nigga scores at a clip that's crazy. He doesn't really. I mean, the albums is debatable on whether or not he's got more than two, more than one, like classic. Oh, uh, Cole. I got I got one classic from him, uh, in my personal opinion. Oh Are no no no! I'm, I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm, um, I got two. He's got he's got classic. If we tapes. if we talking mixtapes, he's well. That's what I'm saying. Like I I feel like Friday Night Lights. Oh my gosh! That that's the one. Perfect. And I feel like uh, my 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 opinion. I got Born Center as a classic. I love Born Center. Okay. And then Forest Hills. Yeah. I'm not really. Like, I don't I don't have Off Season as a classic. I, I loved it. It's great. Might delete later. It was a cool listen. I, I'm really. I, I, I I'm I still not on might delete later. Oh, I'll yeah, fuck with that. I'm I can't heavy. get with that album, bro. I don't know what nah, it is. I I don't. I'm not really rocking with it. But I, but because of his rapping ability, I feel like he's always going to be in a conversation Absolutely. because Absolutely. he's top. Like this boy can really spit like in a level that's kind of crazy. So it reminds me of like, uh. I want to use somebody who's more current, but, like, imagine, like, prime James Harden. Like, this nigga was unstoppable. Bucket this nigga's gear. dropping 45, 30 of them are free throws. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, you can't hold him. He's got a crazy handle, blah, blah, blah. But then when you switch the ball over to the other side, he ain't going to guard you. You know what I mean? Like, he really ain't. He's not going to really win. He's not really going to get your team to the conference finals and win. You know, you know those are the <laughs> other things. But... A You're historic. not building a franchise around J. Cole? I don't think so, no. I don't or think both. so. I should say I, this. I, I, I You're not, you don't think you're winning a championship with J. Cole as your quarterback? Uh, no. No, I don't wow. think so. I think, I think if you surround him with the pieces, That's insane. then he can, he can get you there. <laughs> I do not think that he's taking you to a Super Bowl and winning. I don't wow. think so. I think, that, I think that off of his ability alone to rap is not enough because you need musicality. You he'll, need... he'll give you 45 in game seven, but you're going to lose by 15. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but, that's what you but, said, right? He'll, what, he'll yeah. get you so far. and right, he'll, right. he'll individually, he'll be incredible <laughs> and amazing. But ultimately, he's going to fall short of the ultimate goal, which is being the best. Right. And I, and I think if you compare him to the other two in the big three, mm-hmm. they give you... All of those aspects. Well, okay. They give you all of those things and not just the rapping ability. They give you great production, 
replayable music, classic albums, classic mistakes. So numbers, if you want to do the numbers thing and all, they give that, you literally that's, all. That's of that. what my question is, though. What are we quali- What's the, what are the qualifications for the big three? If it is all those things, then without a doubt, J Cole, get out. Word. Tyler I belongs their saying. way ahead see, of you. I see what you're saying. If we're talking all those things involved, right, 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 right. if we're talking, which I look at the big three is, I just think of the three best rapping ass niggas that if I throw y'all in a booth, y'all are going to rap your faces off. And if we're doing it That's by right. those, then get Drake out of my big three. Tyler mm. can get in my big three. And I think that's... And it can be okay. Tyler, Cole, and, and Kendrick. If and Kendrick. we're talking about the three best rapidy rap, rap-ass niggas on earth right now, I think I'm not... Because, like you say, man, if we if, if it's NBA, man, Cole would give you 35 a night if he wanted to. Or, Easily. Just like a lot of players said, man, KD could give you 40 if he wanted to. Cole could give you whatever he wanted to, but again, he'll give you 45 and you're going to lose. Uh, Tyler, same thing. I think Tyler's more of an all-around. I think the, so pro- he proved it with the production here. He does. Uh, and like you say, he has songs that interweave genres, people, the charts, cross like crossover, mainstream. Where He's also barring out. He's got is. it all. Yeah. Uh, Kendrick is Kendrick. There's no <clears throat> keeping him off any best list, period. No, you got to put him there. Where you miss me with Drake is just that I just don't, I don't trust his, that it's him. I don't mm. trust his authenticity. I, there's That's fair. Whereas I do trust yeah. him with Cole. I do trust <laughs> him with Tyler. Yeah. I trust with Tyler more than anybody, honestly. Sure. I trust it. It's weird to say I trust him more than with Kendrick, honestly. Right. Um, but I, I trust those guys. Drake. He's enough. We're just talking like, oh, I'm gonna write something down for y'all and y'all rap it. Now you can talk to me about Drake. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're talking delivery and all that stuff and his flow and the way he. But I just don't trust that it's him doing all this. I don't trust the authenticity there. Mm. So that's why I say like, we all have our different definitions of like what kind of the qualifications are for the big three. Or, so again, if we talking overall body of work, everything you do under the sun. Or, then um then then Tyler, yeah, he replaces Cole for me. If we're just talking rapidy raps, then yeah, Tyler's Drake. in there and he replaces Drake. But either way, he's in my big three now. He's he's stamped that now. Yeah, sure. I I I think you brought up a good point because it, it does. I mean, like the question, he's the only one up there that got the question mark. Drake, Drake, yeah. talking about Drake, right? Yeah, like if you absolutely talking about actually like really doing the shit. I I just um I think for me I somewhat believe him. Mm-hmm. And I feel like his star power is so heavy that that's why you they You a fan, you a fan? <laughs> I am a fan. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm a freaky ass. No, I'm just like, No, I'm just like, <laughs> no I, I, I I'm still, <laughs> no pause. Resume. Yo. Uh, <laughs> but uh no, I I think I think I'm just going off of the premise of like, for the most part, everyone is going off of them being the three. And then not really, I, I didn't even put into account that question. Because I feel like I'm kind of rolling with you. Like, if you're going to talk about that, yeah, bro, he's the weakest link, right? It just depends on how you see it. You know what I mean? It's, it's what you're looking. It's no different than when we talk about hooping or, or, sure, sure, or sure. football or whatever. It's Word. what you look for in a quarterback. It's what you prefer. It's what you like in a hooper. Uh, what you prefer, like, again, we, and this is the thing too, is I think a lot of, I think a lot of people are kind of like, even hesitant almost. For one, Tyler ain't young. Tyler been True. around for a minute. True. Uh, but two, like, and I'm hesitant to it myself, much like with, I look at it as, is with the league, right? All your, all your guys' lives, basically, y'all have known LeBron, Steph, KD, like that kind of, you know, that core group. Same thing with the big three. It's eventually we got to get to kind of a shifting and a passing of the guard. And I feel like out of the big three with, you know, and Tyler on the outside, Mm -hmm. I think he's the perfect passing of the guard to a new big three. Mm. Eventually, I don't know who the hell it could possibly be. But I feel like Tyler's a perfect one because – 
he can talk to the older heads like a me or something and be and and still have me like man he's it's crazy hearing him talk about getting someone pregnant and talking about having an abortion and like real life conversations grown up stuff you know and from her perspective and from, like you know what i mean like yes yeah, so it it's that's it's it's genius to me so he can have that but he also can still have the kids moshing <laughs> on saturday night sure, sure. when they playing sticky and he got sexy red up there yeah. with him <laughs> and, and then, glorilla on right. it but then also got Wayne on it yes so you know he's the to me yes. he's the perfect bridge I, I don't even know who to you know who to kind of compare it to in in with hooping or something like that but like to me, he is that perfect bridge of the generations because while he isn't young, he's established. Mm -hmm. But the kids love this dude and ride for him so hard that maybe he can hopefully start to usher in the newer, younger, more fresh big three. Not to say that these guys ain't got it no more, but like you say, Cole almost so feel like he got one foot out the door half that, the time. That's what I'm saying. 100%. Oh, unsure ass nigga. Yeah. Drake... <laughs> Who knows unsure. what Drake had? Like, would you ever thought you would sit there and say, "Man, who knows what Drake rest of his career gonna look like?" Yeah, honestly, who knows if his bounce back is you gonna come? So know. that's two right there. And then Kendrick, man, it's always gonna be it's gonna be on his terms, you know. Right. But like, you already have two of the three looking shaky. You know, you know, um, as you as you said, like, who would be a good comparison? You know, when I think about. Who can kind of like balance out the old with the new? Mm -hmm. I feel like Anthony Edwards might be a good comparison. Ooh, I like that. Cause like I feel like he's got a dog in him that reminds you of a two yeah. thousands. He, he gets respect from the old heads still, 100%. right? Because he when plays he, that way. He's not media trained at all. When you what? ask him, when you ask this nigga, yo, he's what do you why? think of him and Lamelo are the two worst on the mic, in bro? The NBA, like huh? he's gonna give it to you raw. Pause. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. he's just like yo, like I don't care. Katie's across from me. I'm trying to kill that nigga. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so I was, he did with, on the Netflix series when they introduced him and he was talking wild on word. LeBron about LeBron. Like, like I, ain't, I don't fear nobody. Bro, he, of course, I want to go at bro, him. Bro, he's a killer, bro. Like he's a really and, adult. And you didn't hear LeBron say nothing either. Nope. LeBron was like, "That was it." Respect. Cool. Okay, cool. Like, all right. Well, I got the crown. Like, that all is, right, that's, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's a perfect. But on the other right side, there. right? He's still yeah. only twenty-two. Yep. Right. He's still, you know, young kid making mistakes, doing his thing. Blah blah blah. blah. People like him. People. Uh. Uh. He has a great. Like. I mean. Not that it matters, but he has a great smile. Oh, he, he's, he gives you, to, he's very drawn authentic. to him. He's got the energy. Yes. And you could tell, Easy like. Easy to mark it. You see what I'm saying? Like, and and maybe, you know, like, what might fuck him up is, like, he got to get out of Minnesota. Like, if for him to ascend. But he's already getting Jordan comparisons. Yeah, like, man. he's over here, yeah. like, dunking on niggas he's every single game. you highlights, game. like, yeah, all of that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's kind of like what people thought Ja might be, but, you know, we got, that's to be seen. <laughs> Not playing with guns, dude. <laughs> For real. But, um, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that kind of, like, um, would be a good comparison for those yeah, two. I like that. I, I do want to say, like, I, when I, when it comes to, uh, I was talking about this with, uh, with my wife, and I saw something interesting where they said there was a rap Instagram and they said the closest thing that we have to Kanye right now is Tyler the Creator, and I and I thought about it and I feel like in the new age of like today's era it reminds me of Kanye when it comes to lyrical content. Now, mind you, the there's a little bit more of a question mark because I know that Kanye wrote a lot of his shit early on, but then he yeah. gave up on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. they both yeah. were rapper producers. Well, that's they the thing, also too. Kanye you... started as a producer. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he, was that's, a, he was a producer turned rapper. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a little difference there because he didn't get the shot. Yeah. But I think that I think the the progressiveness and what they talk about, the lyrical content, talking about things that no niggas are what are you talking about? Like yeah. what are you but having girl records, having turn up records, having across the you you check every box essentially. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's like and, but uh the creative like engine that they have where they're like, I'm not just going to stand on a stage and just rap yeah. a song and just be like boring. I'm going to be interactive. I'm trying to give you a show. I'm trying to make you see something that you've never seen before. I'm trying to like get you turned up. I'm trying to have you feel all these feelings with me. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 
Like, okay, if you want me to make a rapidy rap album, I'm going to give you that shit. I can make perfect. I can do that anytime. But yeah. I also want to experiment. I also want to give different shit. I also want to sing a little bit. I want to harmonize a little bit. I wanna, I wanna, I'm going to do yeah. all of that. I'm going to explore the space of my creativity. All of it. And I'm going to design shit. I'm going to get into fashion. I'm going a, I'm to a be different. I'm out here wearing... Yeah. Hard bottoms with fucking cut off shorts, a lumberjack hat with a plaid, and I don't give a and, fuck. And carrying, yeah, a Louis duffel. And, like, and duffel bags and shit. Tr- and I'm gonna have a fur on. Tell me, okay? call me if you get and, lost. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like, 100%. But, like, that was the pink polo. That was oh, a, a the thousand Louis percent. bag. You see what I'm saying? That, and you, that's that version of that. It's funny how you can, again, all things are cyclical. And just like going back to the whole shine situation where niggas really rapping what they live in, like mm-hmm. it's just all you're seeing it all again. It's it is Kanye rewound, sure, pushing and, forward the fashion and the sound yes. and the the artistic and creative boundaries. Like yeah, it's it's him and the only other one I could think of would be a uh, what's a uh, childish. Oh sure, mm. but as uh, you far know what as I was create, like Kanye in that, that realm, create all those creative minds, you know, kind of like <laughs> really touching all of the same boxes, and it's it is. I think there's a again, there's a reason that the nigga was sitting on the goat in the <laughs> sure. cartoon is because you see the influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you see the influence. I, These niggas are directly influenced by him. There's a uh, another another way to describe those gentlemen, weirdo niggas. The the yeah, weird man. kid in school, the one that you called a nerd, but that's the, the one thing. that you call they ain't weird no more. Exactly, they're the cool niggas now. That's the that's the big thing, and that's what helps them actually get star power. Mm-hmm. Where in 2024, 20 years after a debut album, Kanye can be on a second team for rap. It's because he's a weirdo. Well, because let's can't be real, do that. you can't do that. Let's if be real. When we were younger cool. and all that, and the weirdo niggas, when you grow up, you realize, oh shit. Nigga, I was more in tune with them than right. I was with the you gangsters. Know, the, the the gangsters and the uh, even the athletes in some aspects of it. Like you right. know, like I was more in tune with them dudes because even when I went to the crib, I was still on my wrestling shit and my <laughs> this and that shit and my. And now it's just shifted to anime and all that, and they rapping about it. Sure, it shows the the generations of like. When we say OF, we think our future, but these kids think OnlyFans. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like, like OF, OF meant something to like, yeah. it, it was like. Uh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just very <laughs> different, bro. <It's> like, <laughs> but like, I um, I really appreciate Tyler, the creator, and like, I, I like that he could scratch that itch. Because you have a very different, if we're talking about the big three again, like they, they give you very, very different. Mm. Things that fill a void. Here comes this nigga with a very, very different void. I think that void is the Kanye West of the world. Once he came onto the screen, uh, onto the screen, onto the scene, and like you have like the the childishes, the the Andre three stacks, the Kanyes, the Pharrells, those niggas, the weird old creative, make something beautiful ass niggas. Like we need those, you know what I mean? Like, like, cause you have you have like the dudes that are just numbers, the dudes that are just always trying to make you think. You got rapidy raps, you got gangsters, you got all these types of niggas. But we need that nigga too. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Tyler fills that void of like, yeah, it's all right to be artsy and you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just very different. So that's my that's my spiel. Hey, before we move to top fives, though. Hey man, is a sideline a classic for J. Cole? No. Absolutely not. Sideline story? Ugh. The singles are great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking. The singles are great. Singles are great. But there are a lot of lows on this album. Yeah, bro. Uh I'm gonna say no, man. If I had to pick yes or no, I'm gonna say no. But damn, those singles are, are amazing. <laughs> Hell no. Shout awesome. out Mr. Nice Watch with Jay-Z. <laughs> yes, that one. shit's hard, dog. <laughs> Mr. Nice Watch. Bro, not the, the Missy nice Elliott watch. joint is the one. Oof, nobody's, nobody's perfect. perfect. That's the one. That's one of his best songs, I think. Or that. Mm. Ooh, I 